How you doing, five fans? This is Box Knowledge coming at you once again <coughs> with another video on a particular subject that I want to talk about. <coughs> <coughs> I apologize for the quality of this video. Uh, I just woke up right now, um, and I've been wanting to do this video, and I have a very hectic day. <coughs> I just woke up right now, doing a little wake and bake, you know. But anyway, let's get to it, guys. <coughs> I did not do a, an English prediction video on the Miguel Cotto versus Yuri Foreman fight. Um, didn't get a chance to, uh, at least not in English. I did it in Spanish. I want to give credit to that tab boy. For, I was a bit on the fence with this one, and after I, I attribute my my me picking the right opponent, um, I think it's directly attributed to the conversation that Map Town Born and I had over the phone about Yuri Foreman and Cota. He he pretty much told me like this: Miguel Cota does not have a record, a bad record against boxers or people with speed. The brute pit to beat Miguel Cotto is pressing him, pressuring him. But Yuri Foreman won't do that. So he pretty much told me that the style, he didn't have a history of showing, of you know having lackluster performances against that, uh, against Yuri Foreman's particular style. And therefore he thought, based on styles, that Cotto would have no problem. But I, I bought into all the BS. I bought into all all the drama about Miguel Cotto being psychologically scarred and maimed, you know? And that's why I was on the fence, but I spoke with Nat Townborn, another person who actually knows about boxing and logically without passion, you know, or prejudice, told me, look at the styles. So I made a video in Spanish. I mean, this is my rule, guys. Styles make fights. You base fighters on their styles. And I let my heart, my emotions, and the hoopla about Kodo's head, I let all that, like, I guess, sway me from the facts. So Nat got me on track. I did a prediction on it. You know, I went with Styles make fights, like always. And I, I thought that Miguel Cotto was going to win a very convincing unanimous decision. I also said that Kodo could definitely stop Yuri Foreman as long as he hurt him before seven I mean, within seven rounds. If he could hurt Kodo, he could he could stop him, you know, in the later rounds. But I felt confident in a in a in a in a unanimous decision by Miguel Kodo. I think it would have been a unanimous decision if, if Yuri Foreman had wouldn't have hurt his leg. Um, or re-injured his knee, which needs surgery now. Miguel Cotto was well in command of the fight prior to the bizarre injury, or re-injury, if you will. So, at the end of the day, it is what it is, right? So all my, to all the people who are watching this video and say, why is Box Dodge why is Boxer Dodge not wearing a shirt? <coughs> Too bad. Get over it. All right. <coughs> I just woke up. I want to get this done. Uh, I want to get this over with, so I can carry on with my biz, my busy, hectic schedule. <coughs> anyway, so Miguel Cotto proved once again why he's a champion. Oh yes, I did not get a chance to do the prediction in English, but can someone please help me learn how to put subtitles, please? I think that would be better than just, <laughs> I think that would be better than just recording a show in Spanish and in English. By the way, I'm going to do this in Spanish again. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, so um, Miguel Cotto did very well, used his jab well. Took Yuri Forbid's punches well, dealt with Yuri's Forbid's speed well. Uh, what can I say? I mean, Miguel Cotto is back, you know. 
I would like to say that this victory was so important for Manny Pacquiao's legacy. Okay? It was so important. Excuse me. This victory was so important for Manny Pacquiao's legacy because people were saying that Miguel Cotto wasn't the same fighter. I didn't believe any of that. I knew he would win. I knew that he was still the same fighter. Maybe not exactly the same fighter. Well, he's only 29 years old, guys. Miguel Cotto's got a lot left. All right? This gives Manny Pacquiao's victory over him more credibility. Everyone said he was a shot fighter. Miguel Cotto proved that he is he's still an elite fighter. You know, he's still in position to land a big fight. You know what? And God bless him because he deserves it. He's put his time in the ring. He's put a sacrifice, you know, in this game. Anyway, there you have it, guys. Um, please help with the subtitles, someone, so that I can put English subtitles on my Spanish uh, broadcast so you guys can see that I predicted it fairly right. Um, Jackie Jackalope, I think that's her name. Um, on YouTube, the female uh, boxing, a YouTube boxing analyst, and a fictionado, or I should say, a fictionada. <laughs> Her prediction was pretty much spot on. Uh, that Tao's prediction was pretty much spot on. Um, you know, I had him by UD. Again, I think those would have been the circumstances uh, if uh, you know Foreman would have knees would have held up, but whatever, right? Um, so yeah, congratulations to both of them. They're very, very, very close. I actually down there for a second. I didn't think Miguel Cotto. I, I bought into the BS, but at the end of the day, my mind, my logic, boxing logic, prevailed over my heart. Obviously, I had to get a little nudge in the right direction by certain people, but, you know, I felt very comfortable with my decision, and I was not surprised. I was surprised at the stoppage, but then after I, I read the the uh, circumstances behind the stoppage, that, you know, uh, it didn't surprise me at all. So there you have it, guys. Miguel Cotto, the three-time world champion. I'm sorry, three-division world champion. He's a four- or five-time world champion. And um, I want to say one quick thing. Guys, a rematch with Miguel Cotto and Manny Pacquiao will be very interesting and very entertaining and very lucrative for both fighters, okay? I don't doubt that at all. But come on. Come on. I don't want to see Manny Pacquiao fight Miguel Cotto. I don't want to see him fight Antonio Margarito. I don't want to see Manny Pacquiao fight anybody but Floyd Mayweather Jr. Okay? Miguel Cotto and Manny Pacquiao is a great plan B, but you know what? At this juncture, I don't think that B and C and D should be options right now. Make the fight happen with Floyd Mayweather Jr. Point blank. Um, I'll be addressing some of the comments, um, the comments that Floyd Mayweather Jr. has said about possibly ending his retirement. I'm going to address that in another video. Let me record this in Spanish and get back to you guys. Guys, this is Boxing Knowledge out. Um, to all my haters out there, get over yourselves. To all my, my subscribers, thank you so much for your support. And um, let me know what y'all think. Leave a comment, subscribe, and please remember, do not forget, boxing is intelligence.